Hello students. So today we are going to study about the DNA. Now see what is DNA made up of. DNA consists of sugar. Sugar is deoxyribose sugar. It consists of phosphoric acid and also nitrogenous base. So DNA consists of these three biomolecules. One is sugar, one is phosphoric acid and one is your nitrogenous base. So now we are studying one by one. Now see sugar of the DNA. Sugar is your pentose sugar, which is not having oxygen at second position. That is why we say it is deoxyribose. So see the diagram. Carbon are placed here. See the numbering. This is your first carbon. This is your second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, and this is your fifth carbon. This is your HOH here. And from the second position, we are removing oxygen. Ribose sugar will have oxygen here, but in case of DNA, sugar is deoxyribose. DE word means removal. And oxy means oxygen. So we have removed oxygen from the ribose sugar, that is why we say deoxyribose. And here CH2OH. So, first of all, numbering of the ribose sugar, we have to learn it properly. Here is this is your first carbon, this is your second carbon, third carbon, fourth, and fourth is holding the fifth one, CH2OH. Please remember, deoxyribose sugar is there. Why we are calling it deoxyribose? Once again, DE word means removal. You have done the removal of oxygen and removal of oxygen is done from second position of the carbon. Is it clear? Set from second position, oxygen is removed. That is why the sugar is known as deoxyribose sugar. Now, phosphoric acid. See the structure of phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid is written as H3PO4. So, diagrammatically, we'll be showing it. Now see nitrogenous base. Nitrogenous base, first try to understand the concept and mind map. There are two types of nitrogenous base. One is purine, another is pyrimidine. Purine is again of two types, adenine and guanine. Pyrimidine is again of two types, thymine and cytosine. Now see further. Now let us study the structure of purine and pyrimidines. Both are heterocyclic ring compound. Now see what does it mean? See the purine structure here. At four places you are finding nitrogen along with the carbon because you know remaining place is occupied by the carbon only. That is why we say heterocyclic ring compound. Now see the numbering. This is your first carbon, second, third position, fourth, 
fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. So we say purine is two ring and nine membered structure with nitrogen at first, third, seventh, and ninth position. Now for pyrimidine C. This is also heterocyclic ring compound. In which the numbering will start from here. This is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So it is heterocyclic ring compound. It is one ring and six membered structure. With nitrogen at first and third position. Structure of adenine. At the sixth position, at the sixth position, it is having amine group. This is your adenine. So adenine, another name is six amino purine. Nasi guanine. Here you will find ki at the second position it is having amine group. Here your amine group is there. And here you are having oxy group. So another name of guanine is 2 amino 6 oxypurine. So I, this, I hope this topic is clear. What is chemically adenine and what is chemically guanine? Now see for pyrimidine. At second position, this is pyrimidine. At second position, it is having oxy. And at fourth position, it is having NH2. So this is structure is of cytosine. The cytosine is also known as 2-oxy, 4-amino, Pyrimidine. Now see next structure. At second position oxy, even at fourth position also oxy, and at the fifth position it is having methyl group. So this is the structure of thymine.
which is having second and four dioxy and five methyl pyrimidine. So I hope this chemical structures of the all the nitrogenous bases are clear to you. First, they will make the nucleosides. Sugar is attached with the nitrogenous base. I'm writing short NB means nitrogenous base. And this bond, this bond is known as glycosidic bond. Now see at which position they are attached. See the diagram once again. If you remember, this was first carbon, second, third, fourth, and this is fifth. The first carbon is making the glycosidic bond with either purine or either with pyrimidine. Let us assume this is purine. Purine means either adenine or either guanine. So it is making use of the ninth position of the purine. Or if it is attaching with the Pyrimidine, then see the structure. If it is making the glycosidic bond with the pyrimidine, so it is using the first position of the pyrimidine. Pyrimidine means either thymine or either cytosine. So it is making the bond with the first position. So simple presentation is this. Ki sugar is making that glycosidic bond with purine. First position of sugar is used and the ninth position of purine is used. When it is making bond with the pyrimidine, then first position of pyrimidine is used and first position of sugar is used. And this bond is known as glycosidic bond and we are making nucleosides. Now types of nucleosides will be depending upon the nitrogenous basis. Let's see what are the types of nucleosides are present in the DNA. Types of nucleosides. Deoxyadenosine. Deoxyguanosine. Deoxycytidine. And deoxythymidine. So these are the different types of nucleosides which are seen in DNA. Now we'll be studying how the Easter bond formation is done. See once again the sugar. Numbering is done here. This is the glycosidic bond which is already made with some nitrogenous base. Let us assume we have used adenine here. And now see phosphoric acid attachment. See carefully, we will be removing the water molecule.
water molecule is removed and this bond which is made this bond is known as ester bond so we call it as phospho ester bond made with the fifth position it is made at the fifth position you have to please highlight this ki this is made at the fifth position so this is your one nucleotide press made so nucleotide means phosphate sugar and nitrogenous base when all three are present then we say it is nucleotide i have taken an example of adenine here so this is one nucleotide let us see again second nucleotide again i am using another nitrogenous base let us assume we are using thymine and here i am adding again the phosphoric acid check here water molecule has gone out so again we are making ester bond so this is your phospho ester bond at which position is it made it is made at the fifth position this is your fifth carbon so if you see here we have made a nucleotides this is sugar nitrogenous base and phosphoric acid this nucleotide is made so i hope up till here topic is clear how the nucleosides and nucleotide formation occur thanks for watching if you liked it Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel.